Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Tara Yummy inspired makeup look and I actually have her makeup routine pulled up right here and I'm wearing an Ed Hardy shirt in honor of her. I love her and I love the way she does her makeup. I love the way she dresses like I literally aspire to be her. I suck at makeup. I have been doing the same makeup routine since freshman year of high school. I'm about to be 23. I would love to get better at makeup and so I'm going to be following her makeup routine and seeing if I look cute in it. Hopefully the answer is yes. The first step is moisturizer. I actually also conveniently use La Roche Posay. I don't use the exact same one that she uses. I use the Double Repair Face Moisturizer and this has SPF. It's very important that your moisturizer has SPF because then you will look young forever, or so they say. I'm just gonna put this on my face. And I should be wearing a headband right now or something, but I never do. In her video, Tara talked about how she went on Accutane and so she's like really scared of breaking out. And actually, same girl, I went on Accutane twice. Definitely my skin is a lot better than it was before Accutane. It's still imperfect. I still break out from time to time. So I also do not wear foundation. Part of the reason why I decided to follow her makeup tutorial, other than the fact that like I literally love her, is I feel like I resonated with a lot of things she said. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick with like what I usually do for my face. I usually just go in with this cover girl. I don't know what it's called because the name is literally scratched out. This is really lightweight. Like it doesn't really look like you're wearing like a lot of makeup like you can barely tell you're wearing concealer kind of just like seamlessly blends into your skin and sorry guys but i don't use brushes i usually just use my fingers to be honest this is like the least cakiest concealer i've ever used like seriously like the texture is like water make me sweat Make me harder. Usually for my skincare, my skincare, my skin makeup, my makeup, my help. I use this powder and you don't even want to see the inside of this. Jesus. All right, that step is done. Okay, I think next she does her eyebrows. So I actually just got my eyebrows done for this video. So look how clean they look. Unfortunately, even though I am Italian and I'm very hairy all over, um, my eyebrows could use a little bit of fullness sometimes. They have a nice shape, I feel like, but I like to make them a little bit darker and a little bit more full on the this part. Oh, here comes my cat. Oh, hey. Brush them out a little bit. I've been using this Anastasia brown, pout, brown, brow, soft brown, brow powder duo. I just kind of like how powder looks on my brows versus like gel just because the gel sometimes reminds me of how people used to do their eyebrows in like 2016 when like on fleek brows was a trend if you guys remember that personally no no thank you so next she does blush and i just bought this little powder blush for this she used like a rose color so i tried to go for the most rose looking color i could find well no that's a lie. I just chose the one that was named Rose because I thought that was the easy way to go. Oh my god, can I open this though? Just went flying. Probably should not be putting my teeth on this. I just got this at five below and I can't imagine how many little germy baby hands probably touched this. Um, I'm just not gonna think about it. I got this blush brush and she talks about putting it on like the higher parts of your face. So she puts it like up here. Whoa, whoa. whoa. That was a lot more pigmented <laughs> than I thought it would be to be honest. And then she also drags it up. Oh my God, I look like a clown. Okay, let's just keep going. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. 
Why does it low-key look like highlighter? Like it's it's low-key shiny, isn't it? Okay, maybe I'm just like not used to seeing myself with makeup on. Oh, I feel like I look weird. Ooh, we're gonna keep going. The next thing she does is contour her nose. Um, my cat is trying to do his makeup also. I just bought this um, CoverGirl powder bronzer and she just talks about like making two lines down her nose. I'm really scared. Oh my God. Let me try to blend this out more. We're gonna go to the face bronzer. I heard that you're supposed to use this a flat edge brush or something for bronzer. This is like not taking to the brush very well. It's just like sitting on the top of the brush. It's kind of weird. Oh! It's kind of crazy. With my hair like this, it actually looks Do I look like a fool? A little bit. Let's do the other side though, just so I'm an even fool. Okay, so next is highlighter, and I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand Highlighter. It's in the color Champagne. I actually do really like the color of this. It's kind of pretty. Um, but she puts it on the tip of her nose, and like that, obviously like blended. She also puts it up here, and like low-key this blush is already serving highlighter somehow but i'm gonna do it anyways okay i feel like i'm getting a little used to it it like looks better in the mirror i feel okay next she does eyeliner and i just got this eyeliner and this little uh free ipsy bag i got so this is called eddie funkhauser i've never heard of him so the way she does it, she says she follows her natural lash line and just goes straight out. I don't know if that's going to look good on my eyes, but we're going to try it. Help. Okay, that's okay, right? I still feel like she goes a little bit longer maybe, but we're going to do the other eye and see what happens. Oh my god, they're definitely uneven. What the actual... I feel like it makes me look like my eyelids are drooping. All right. This kind of looks like ass, ah. but um, I'm gonna put on mascara and see if it looks any better. My favorite mascara to use is Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. I don't think this is the one she used, but I have really straight eyelashes and the waterproof version of this is literally the only mascara I've ever found that actually holds my eye my straight ass pin ass eyelashes up i'm gonna go in and curl my eyelashes gonna put the mascara on do i look scary be honest i still kind of feel like her eyeliner is a little bit like more drawn out i'm just gonna drag it a little bit more out just so i can get more of a, her, like the vibe of her makeup don't look too closely because like what is going on right there oh my god i've been looking forward to this part because i got her exact lip combo i'm so excited to see how this is gonna look on me but this is I'm having the dropsies today. This is the NYX Lip Pencil in Mauve. So I'm just gonna line my lips with this. Here we go. This is a really pretty color though. All right, I don't have any beef with my lower lip. It's like full enough for me, but my upper lip is a little small. So I'm gonna overline it a tiny, 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 tiny bit. And then next, this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Rome, which is the exact one that she uses. This smells. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, I could smell it all day. My serving. <laughs> I don't know, like, it's kind of a vibe. This eyeliner really throwing me off. I do really like this lip combo. I'm not gonna lie, I probably will wear this at least. I hope you liked this video. This was really fun. It's my birthday soon, and I definitely wanna wear more makeup like this when I go out for my birthday, so this was definitely a good start to that. Hi, Tara, if you're seeing this. I doubt it, but like, that'd be cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed 
that's all I gotta say for now. Love you. Kisses. See you in the next one. And I definitely will not be wearing this eyeliner. Toodles.